What's up everybody? Today we're at a very special home in the heart of Greenwich, Connecticut. My listing, 36 Zacchaeus Mead. It's a six bedroom, nine bath, 8,500 square foot home on the market for 7,499,000. This one of a kind property is an amazing blend of natural elements blended with modern living. Modern tranquility is what we call it. And there's really nothing like it anywhere on the market. It was a customized, perfectly built, high-end luxury home that gives a feeling of outside and inside. And I'm so excited to tour it with you today. When you approach this beautiful landscaping and then you come down the driveway to the front door and you're greeted by these monstrous custom European windows and doors that give this beautiful natural light. And that's what this house has, abundance of natural light and greenery all around it. The house is also built with this custom ledge cut stone. Now this is two master masons built this house and brought all this stone in and it took actually three years to totally complete the house itself. So when you walk to the front door and you come into the foyer, you immediately feel that modern, luxurious feeling. Huge natural light cascades in from these European windows. You have this rift flooring that's beautiful, and you're met with this beautifully designed staircase here with white oak railings. All the AC grates are flush with the floor and are that really cool design. The house is a complete Lutron home. So for your security, for your sound system, it's a one-touch smart home. So board rift flooring, extra wide, white oak stairs, beautiful. The house was designed so you just have so much sunlight coming into the house and it makes it feel like you're inside, outside kind of vibe. And for a house that's modern, you don't really get that. But this kind of gives it natural elements and natural feel. You have all LED lighting and they actually ran the moldings inside of the recessed lighting, which was a really cool touch. And then once you're in the kitchen, living room, dining room space off of the main entrance, you're kind of met with another door parallel to the front door. So literally as I stand here right by the kitchen, and off one of the family rooms, I can look to the right, I can look to the left, and I get a beautiful view of this brook out here with a 100-year-old stone bridge that we'll see in a second. But I also have the front door with the gorgeous driveway and the landscaping all around. And it's truly a mixture between the tranquil outdoors and modern luxury living. And some cool little things like as fu for functionality purposes, it's awesome because you have kind of the Eden kitchen area over here, but you also second as a formal informal dining. And then you have this awesome space where if you're entertaining, every place around the house has a way to enter and exit. So on beautiful days, you can just have all the doors open and people can walk through. And the functionality of the space where you don't have wasted space is so important. So running in off of this door, you have the floor to ceiling stone backsplash with integrated TV and gas fireplace. And you're gonna see a couple of these gas fireplaces that look really cool when they turn on. And I have been here in the winter time where we had snow swirls and everything like that. We've actually done some of our marketing pieces here during that time and it's just breathtaking. When you have like the fireplace going and you see the snow coming down over here, it's just a really, really cool sight. This room could be a dining room, but right now this sits as kind of a family room with a see-through fireplace that will lead into the library or the sitting room for the guest suite. This room also has floor to ceiling windows, really high ceilings, beautiful recessed lighting, nice clean lines, and then this door that leads you right outside to your all-weather Trex deck. We'll kind of come into the kitchen now, and this is breathtaking. So you have a two inch thick white marble island with a waterfall edge, beautiful, that is perfectly set to go along with your countertop, which is actually concrete to keep that natural elements theme. This window here that overlooks this 100-year-old stone bridge and this creek is massive. 
it doesn't matter what time of the year that you're in, there isn't anybody that ever shown this house to that doesn't come in and look at this kitchen and just get absolutely blown away. I haven't ever seen anything like this. I'm standing here in the kitchen um, with the crystal cabinets and this beautiful space and I can see everything. Okay, I have my, my pantry area over here. I have my kind of formal, informal dining. I have my family room, my little living room area. I have the deck, I have the water. I can see the front yard. I can see everything from my kitchen, which is essentially the center of the home. So if you love modern, you love luxury, you love modern elements, this kitchen is the one. So you have all stainless steel appliances, high-end microwave, you got the six burner, Wolf Zyler Titan wall range hood, very high end range. This is supposed to have a power wave blower technology. So if you're cooking a mean meal in here, this thing will do the trick. Custom fridge and they ran the crystal on top of it, the crystal cabinetry. I love the way the interior designer also put the light fixtures in here that kind of match the rest of the theme. The space flows into the back or side of the house where they have the back staircase. This could also be eventually taken out and you can have a glass elevator in here if you wanted it. It leads down to the lower level, which is all glass, or it goes upstairs to the living space. And they ran the crystal cabinetry all the way back here for pantry space, kind of a mudroom area. And then there's another half bath on this side of the house as well. What's really cool about here is if you're serving, you have Miele coffee makers, your, uh, uh, your wine cooler, this is a great space to kind of have all your stuff in here before if you're setting up for parties, different things like that. It's a smart home, it's a Lutron home, and the sound system is also hooked up to the Akobi thermostats, so everything is digital, so you can program the thermostats and the sound systems all on your phone. So we're on the right side of the house, below the master, we are now into the guest suite wing. This could be considered a library, it could also be the guest suite sitting area. The walls are texturized with limestone VP suede paint and it's beautiful color and texture. They ran the theme, obviously high ceilings in the entire house. Um, another door to exit and have your own part of the balcony. So you have a beautiful marble on the fireplace and this is the fireplace that's gas, but it's also you know a see-through fireplace that goes into the other living room area. The house has really two, uh, two bathrooms on the first floor meant for guests. You have the one on the side of the house by the side stair, and then you have this one, which is closer to the front door. Check out the materials in this bathroom. You have this cool backsplash that they ran all the way to the ceiling. Again, these really cool one-of-a-kind black fixtures, and then almost a piece of those like geode rocks with a beautiful smooth inside, and then this ultra thick waterfall edge marble countertop. It's just beautiful how they did it. And again, it goes to show that there was no expense spared in the house and the material costs, especially in today's market, are through the roof. So to try to replicate this house, the way it was built, where it was built, how it was built, you couldn't do it again. So you come into your guest bedroom. If I was a guest, I would love to stay in a bedroom like this because you have your own private balcony area overlooking the front of the house with a slider. They ran the high ceilings and then you have this beautiful space that keeps the interior design of the rest of the house. Beautiful light fixture right on top of the foyer. It's a good view of the roof here. It's an all slate roof with snow guarding. And when you get up to the top of the staircase, right here is this awesome sitting room or family room for the second floor. Again, the floor to ceiling windows that are portrait like. So when you're sitting here, you're just hanging out with your family upstairs, you get a beautiful shot of the 100 year old stone bridge, the beautiful pergola, and this gorgeous creek that has the natural spring water flowing right through it. So we go into the master bedroom and you have to really be here to feel how big and luxurious this space is with the continuation of these beautiful portrait windows. Good shot of these doors. So it is so simple to open these doors. It's just literally the easiest thing, but if this handle goes up, no way. 
it is impossible to open this thing. The build quality, how smooth and seamless that door is to open, really cool. So you wake up in the morning, it's beautiful out. The birds are chirping, you hear nothing but creak and water and you just look around and you see lush greenery everywhere and you go sit down to have your coffee or just wanna relax. And this right here is a perfect example of modern tranquility. Your inside of your house has every bit of modern luxurious elements to it, but two feet away when you step out of your house, you're in pure nature. And it is one of the most peaceful, serene things. And it's the peace of mind. You feel humbled by how beautiful this is, and it's a great place to get centered. So as you're standing here off the master, it's a great shot of the 2,000 square feet of all-weather Trex decking that you have in the house. And a beautiful shot of the creek and the 100-year-old stone bridge. At night, all of this lights up, and it is quite a scene. Siding is made from Kobani wood, which is an all-weather uh, wood siding. And it is really cool, especially in a house like this, it gives it that look, but also will take care of it because it's meant to be out in the elements. The house really has a spa-like feel to the master bathroom. When you come down this hallway, you have his and hers large walk-in closets. And you're gonna see when you come into the master bath, the flooring is an Asian hand-designed flooring, beautiful pattern. Heated floors, obviously. Cast iron tub, it's a floating tub. And one of the coolest things that this house has been known for is its master bathroom windows. So you see your master bathroom window with a beautiful view out, and you know what, people can see in. But to resolve that, one of the coolest things that people like about it is that we have actually installed these cool windows with the automatic fog ability. Really, really beautiful door for the shower. I love this all glass door with the black pattern here. And they went with awesome fixtures. Steam shower, beautiful. Multiple rainless shower heads. They ran that black theme. And then you have this beautiful large window that of course, if you want to see out to mother nature, you can. Boom, fog it right out. I have been in some beautiful, beautiful houses that have some beautiful staircases. I don't know if I've ever been in a house that has created a portrait staircase. Well, really, you have to stop and look at these windows as you're coming down here because it sets up this view of the landscape in such a way where it's really beautiful all year round. The lower level has a luxury laminate flooring with a rubber underneath it. Obviously keeps the moisture out, but also has this awesome feel when you walk on it. It's also super durable, because this is also a great space for a gym. So the first time I ever came down here, I just was wowed, because it's all glass, and these industrial size European sliders are down here. This large TV, awesome sitting area, game room slash gym, kind of gives it a feel of a, a mixture between a workout room, spa, yoga studio. It has a little bit of everything. And when you look out, now you're at the level with the walkout of all the amenities outside. All the bathrooms are a little bit different, which is I like how they designed it. Still keeps the natural elements, the glass subway tile, glass see-through shower, and then the stone floor, I think was an awesome touch. The lower level is outrageous. You have the stone that ran all the way underneath the Trex deck, lighting throughout. There's electrical down here for hot tubs and different space like that. And now you really see, and you really are one with the lush greenery here. So right here is a really cool pathway. You could walk right down to that beautiful natural spring creek, put your hand right in and feel the water. And again, you're in the heart of Greenwich, yes, but you're completely private back here, all fenced in, so you have complete privacy. No one's coming out of your yard, no one's looking in. There originally was a contemporary home on this site that was permitted to be this close to the house, it was grandfathered in. 
and the actual house was knocked down and part of the foundation was left over again. So that's how we were grandfathered in to be able to actually have this house built here and be allowed to be this close to the water. This is natural wetlands. So although you can do some work out here, the idea is to keep the greenery lush. You wouldn't want to rip all this out and put something brand new in there. This is really meant to feel exactly this way. I mean, if you're, if you're somebody who really appreciates nature and you really appreciates the outdoors and to preserve the beauty here and the presence of it, you are going to find this amazing because there isn't anything like it that really highlights mother nature with on top of it, the location and the fact that this is a turnkey luxury home with all the bells and whistles. You could have taken this house and put this on a flat piece of land with a pool in the back and fine. That's not what this is. This is very special, completely different. It's not for everybody. The design was very intentional. It was actually very intentional because the owner and builder sat on the pergola, which we're gonna go, and he looked back at the lot that he was buying and said, well, I don't think I wanna build a regular classic colonial here or something like that. I wanna do something completely different. I want the feeling that I have when I'm sitting on that pergola and I'm one with nature. I wanna have that feeling also when I'm sitting inside of the house. And that is what started this creation of this kind of outside inside modern tranquility, all glass sun filled romance that was built in inspiration for the house. We're going onto the side of the house now, and we have these beautiful bridges with these all weather treks uh, wood that take you to these paths. Now these paths are all lit up at night. All of these decks are all lit up. So these beautiful brooks take you all the way down here and you have this stream of water. It's gorgeous and it flows all the time off of your rain garden and down the side of the house intentionally and goes and flows into this creek. So the stream runs all the way down across the house, down into the creek. And the side of the house, as you look up, it's just an architectural marvel in that they kind of blended these beautiful windows. And now you can kind of see as you walk into the staircase at night, the shots of this at night are incredible. But now you're getting into the fairy tale feeling that you get with this house when you come on this 100-year-old stone bridge. It's a deeded to the property, 100-year-old stone bridge. They ran the lighting throughout. So doesn't matter what time of day or night that you come out here, it's beautiful. This creek all year round, 24-7 is flowing. That sound, that tranquil sound of the water coming down the creek is always so peaceful. When you look back, you start to see the scale of the house functionality, feng shui, feeling of peace, all were thought of when you went into the interior design here. So at night, this all lights up. We're coming down the stone pathway to your pergola, and you look back at this gorgeous house. At night, it's all lit up. During the day, it's still spectacular with the all glass, and you have this scenery all around you of Mother Nature. So the house was originally developed and built with the idea that there's a couple different locations for things like a pool, if you did want it. We didn't know if people wanted the pool or not. So we did have a spot for it if you did. This was a good spot, one of them. You could do a pool right here. It'd kind of be a, out of a glass see-through pool and it would match the design of the house. And this is a good location for it. You don't have the most property in the world here but the idea is not to have a ton of property and flat land. It's to have that two to three acres of privacy and lush greenery and nature. And that's what you have here. So thank you so much for touring 36 Achaeus Mead with me in the heart of Greenwich, Connecticut. Six beds, nine baths, 8,500 square feet on the market right now listed by me for $7,499,000. Stay tuned for more amazing content and property tours with properties just like this. LLA, Leading Lifestyle Agent Real Estate Group and Compass Real Estate. Till next time.